All right, welcome everybody to an overview of the finishing touches here on the Slate Digital uh, mixing with Slate Digital plugins videos. Um, if you've been watching the the other overviews, they're pretty much the same, but I'll show you what I did with the limiter. Um, but if you haven't seen those, I'll quickly go over what I did. So I added some automation. Um, there's some spots in the the organ part where it's pretty quiet, so I just uh, raise the volume on the fader there. And then um, you can see here that there's kind of like a buildup, so I gradually uh, decreased the volume there. And then there's a guitar solo, and uh, the left side was okay in volume for that. Um, I felt like it was dynamic enough, but the right side, as you can see, the waveform is quite a bit smaller. So to compensate for that, I just boosted the fader as high up as it could go, 6 dB, um, and it, it sounded pretty good to me. So um, just real quick automation. One thing that I felt I should have automated on the other ones was the vocal delay, but to me, um, it fit pretty good in this one because uh, in this mix, which is the Slate Digital one, like I said before, um, but I don't know, it, it it just, for some reason, something about it, maybe it was the, uh, the bus compressor or something, uh, it just kind of sat a little bit better in this mix. So... Um, pretty much the same as F, as the other videos um, but the, the difference is uh, that I used FGX so really the thing about these videos uh, are showing the differences in the limiters and um, what I kept the same was that the RMS value was minus 10.5 for all of these and um, I just added a slight slight like not even a half a dB of compression just to uh, make things a little bit more even going into this leveler and um, yeah, I'm boosting it about uh, f was about five dB or so. Um, and yeah, it just it this is a really great le uh, leveler. I don't want to call it a limiter because that's not really what it is. It's just like a loudness enhancer, I guess. Uh, but it's very transparent. Uh, it keeps the it retains the quality of your mix very well, and uh, just makes it louder without coloring it. And that's a great thing for uh, a loudness processor. So, uh, yeah, this was just a real quick video. I wanted to show you um, what I did for the mix. Um, uh, real real simple automation and just threw on a loudness enhancer, not a limiter. Uh, it's hard to say, not say limiter because that's what I'm so used to saying. But uh, a loudness enhancer or processor, whatever you want to call it. So uh, that's just a real quick video uh, because I wanted to show you what's going on behind the scenes because I didn't show this during the mixing videos. So uh, I hope that you appreciate that. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't care about that and you're like, well, why did you include this in the series? You didn't need to do this. You can give it a thumbs down. That's okay. You're entitled to your opinion, as I always say. If you are really glad that I did that, and uh, you you just like looking at the cool interface of these plugins, uh, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year, and the way it's looking, it, it could happen. It could happen, but uh, if it doesn't, I'm not going to be too upset. So uh, I hope to see you in the final video, which is going to be the comparison of these uh, three mixes, and you'll see that um, I did some very similar things in these mixes, but they came out really different. I mean, really different. And um, not to say that one's better than the other, um, but they're just very different. So thank you so very much for watching. If you've watched the whole series up to here, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching all my videos, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.